welcome. I don't have an intro, but I have participated in one of Simply Savannah's community built challenges. If you're not familiar with these kind of challenges, what they basically are is you get a perimeter, so a size requirement and some rules or a theme. And in this case, it was a Halloween slash fall theme. So it was either going to be spooky or cozy. And of course, I picked spooky and uh, built according to that. And she did tour it on her recent live stream. So um, I would actually almost recommend you check that out first because this is kind of an adventure map, I called it. So she has to find certain things within a dark forest. Um, it has kind of a story to it. And I think watching someone who has no idea where the things are and to explore it is actually kind of more fun rather than, you know, knowing it all from this video. So. I'm sure you all know Simply Savannah, but I will link her live stream just in case. It's the very first build she checks out in her video. Um, so yeah, you can't miss it. Uh, <laughs> um, and I, I do, I honestly recommend you watch that first because uh, I don't know, I was also, I was like so proud to see it, like someone else looking at it. I don't know, it was weird. I was like shaking, not in a like scared way, but it was like exciting. Um, so yeah that happened and uh so yeah now all of it is out so i feel like i can post this so you can't really post these things before the con this contest is over um so yeah but okay we are building obviously a road in a forest and like i said it is a story it is an adventure so the story slash adventure behind it is that your car crashes so you're um at night it's raining it's like a dark scary night and your car crashes uh into an embankment you're um stuck there and the challenge is to first of all find your phone that got kicked out of the car from you know hitting the brakes and um the car uh, the phone <laughs> actually you need to find it to be allowed to use the in-game flashlight so if you want to light up the world around you you have to find your phone your oh my god i can't talk your phone first and then go into the forest and find the things you need um we're going to look at everything um very detailed later on of course we're going to do a real-time part of it we won't really be searching because obviously I know where the things are which is why I again recommend that you watch her video first uh, her live stream um, and obviously also for all the other contestants which did really really cool things the winner of the contest is just like it's like chef's kiss it I, I was it's both cozy and scary it is literally so good uh, it's like an abandoned circus so very very cool um so yeah you you should just check it out alone for that if you don't care about that about my one just just go for that so <laughs> that was real good um so yeah like always when i do bigger builds um i've done it in the last video um i was pretty liberal with what i cut out actually no that's not true i i wish i could have cut out more but this was very straightforward i knew exactly what i wanted to do and i knew exactly what to do with it um i will say if this is the first video that you're ever watching of me that i do have a series where i'm building an abandoned map so i i, I don't know i'm i guess i'm kind of used to doing things that are broken <laughs> Um, so like kind of old, broken, disheveled things. So I'm, I'm in the mindset for that because I do that a lot for my abandoned map. So maybe that helped me with this because it is a lot of like abandoned old stuff in this. So um, right now you can see a lot of detail work on the forest itself. And later on, I will skip a lot of the foliage work and whatnot because it's very repetitive. Uh, I had um, certain trees that I wanted to use for it because I wanted it to make sense to be like lush and green despite it being fall. Um, so there's just very, very few, some red trees that lose leaves. So the other ones are all trees that will gonna stay green throughout the winter if that makes sense so um that it is lush and you can't just like see through the trees which was very important obviously for the challenge um because there's some creepy things that you're finding so by now uh if you are still trying to decide if you want to 
see Savannah react first or watch this first, this is really the point where you should go watch her stuff first. Because, um, well, we're going to get into the more creepy stuff. Um, by the way, I keep saying creepy stuff. I promise that there's nothing like actually disturbing in here. Uh, I did make sure not to include spiders because I know that a lot of people really, really have issues with spiders um, or imagery of spiders. So I didn't include any of that. There is a like very much not detail graveyard because I also know that for some people that is probably hard to see that so I yeah I wanted to include one but I didn't want it to make it too detailed and this house obviously it looks spooky but there's literally like no like disgusting things in there or anything it was kind of funny because on her live stream so I mean I hope that at this point you've seen it but um in her live stream, uh, there's a basement in this, so in her live stream, she pants down the stairs and she's like, you know, you can see she's like, oh, no, 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 no. Because for some reason, I don't know, maybe her settings or graphic settings are different because it is a flooded basement. So there's water in there. And what I did, it was like a greenish blue kind of water. Um, so like dirty and kind of muddy, but not pitch black which is what it showed up for as for her so she looked down and it was just pitch black um so it looked way scarier than i intended which was good because this is supposed to be scary um and i don't know i feel like i recreated a little bit of a horror game in this which was so much fun actually and i also got to say that the the flashlight that comes with planet zoo it, it very much gives you horror game vibes um, which worked perfectly for this. So you might be wondering, okay, what animal did I use for this? Well, I did um, put some effort into getting a few uh, leucistic deer in here. So uh, the white ones, and um, they worked incredibly. So the thing that I wanted to do first actually was different like woodland animals. I'll have them be leucistic because I call this map the forest of ghosts and it, it says something that there's like folklore around this so people don't really like to stop here because it's called the forest of ghosts and the idea was basically just that these were leucistic animals that people saw peek through the trees and they got scared of ghosts. Um, but then I realized that the rules for the contest said that it has to be one or two species. So um, I decided against multiple. I just got the deers because I, I looked at different leucistic woodland animals and they, um, the deer just spoke to me. They looked so whimsical and just, I don't know. I looked at them like also in the dark and I was like, these are, these are the things. So um, yeah, I, I picked the leucistic deers for it, and they worked perfectly. Uh, Savannah got kind of scared once when she turned the corner on one. So, mission accomplished. <laughs> and, um, yeah, that was good. So, um, yeah, they're really... They're also so pretty. That's the fun part. Like, you kind of get scared, and they actually do kind of look like ghosts going through the woods. Um, but then when you get closer, they are gorgeous animals. Um, I mean, also, obviously, the non-leucistic ones are also gorgeous, but for this and, like, in the moonlight and everything, like, I did take a lot of screenshots of this, obviously. Um, they, they look gorgeous. So, um, yeah, I'm really happy that I actually saw this rule, because I would have been very upset if I got disqualified for, uh, for, like, kind of, I, I did read it, obviously, but I don't know. It, the first time I read it, I just totally blocked that out of my idea finding process that I can only have one or two species so um yeah I that was the species I picked and I did do some uh educational boards and because the rules also said you had to have educational boards and obviously this um this isn't really a practical zoo built this is a forest so I decided to do something like it information for hikers that would be like um warning the hikers of the ongoing things in the forest so that was kind of my my tricky way around you know the education board and um I yeah that <laughs> it worked and um I remember someone in the live, sh live stream actually said that that was a cool way to include it so I was like whew 
okay <laughs> people get it that's the education board um and yeah i don't know it was overall just really cool to see people react to it that maybe have never seen anything that i did because you know i'm not i i really really want to be more active on the forum um because there's a lot of people posting really really cool stuff there because there's a section to you know post your zoos and uh i always wanted to be more active on there and then I don't know. It's the same. It's the same thing as with, with Instagram. It's like I want to take more screenshots, but usually, like by the time that I'm done and have re recorded and have talked about it and all that, then I'm just like so hyped to go on to the next thing that I never really take the time to co take cool screenshots. Um, but um, like I said in my last video, I'm gonna have a lot more time now because. If you don't know, I work at a zoo and obviously the winter is kind of slow for zoos because it's cold and not a lot of people are there. So I'm going to have so much time um, and uh, I will probably get on that, knock on wood. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of finally want to take screenshots of all of it. Also a lot of the cold climate zoo because uh, that, that one is really coming together. And I, I wanna, I want more screenshot of that. And I think that um, I will, you know, try to be more active on the forum and finally <laughs> get, uh, get Instagram going. I just, I, I've been saying it from the very beginning. I've been planning it from the very beginning, um, and I did actually also already like take some and edit some. But uh, I, I, you know, I, I know I'm chaotic, so I have to have some stuff prepared for the times that I'm chaotic and not take new screenshots. Um, so I have to always kind of work, uh, you know, beforehand. This was also, I don't, I know I never said this, when I started this channel, basically the first two months I was just posting pre-recorded because I was so scared that I couldn't time manage because <laughs> that's always been an issue for me. Um, if you've seen my last video, you know that. And, um, yeah, so... I'm happy that I've gotten this one done in time. I did also wanted to participate in the Frontier one and I couldn't get that one done in time. So probably if I haven't done hadn't done this, I could have probably done the Frontier one, but I I don't know. I I'm happy that I did this one because it was so cool to see someone else actually go through it. Be a bit scared, but just obviously what you want when you build a tiny horror game within a zoo simulator. Um, so that was good. I I'm really happy uh, that I I chose to prioritize this one because it was also honestly more fun. I'm really proud of the restaurant that I've built uh, and it turned out really, really cool, but it was a lot of repetitive work obviously because it's a restaurant and restaurants have like 10,000 tables that are all sort of somewhat the same. So um, yeah, this one was definitely fun because I got to hide little things. Obviously I got to hide the uh, things that she has to search for. And she actually found all of them um, for the shovel that she was supposed to find she looked it up later but that was fine um because i get it you know you can't uh, play an entire map thing that makes you search for things when there's other people waiting to have their uh their stuff shown up as well so that was that was i kind of expected it i honestly i wasn't even sure if she was gonna actually like play it or just look at it um but she did which was so cool so yeah I'm really happy with that and um yeah also this was also fun to build because if you don't know uh no i you do know because i said it before but i have this abandoned map thing and the abandoned map is always very much fun to build uh i, I like kind of destroying this stuff so um this was also very much fun to me to build um all the like this kicked in door and everything um, and yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm also very excited to finally go back to the regular stuff. So, uh, the cult climate one, the base game challenge, and of course the abandoned map. I want to finish it soon. Um, and oh, like I said, I have like 10,000 more ideas for 10,000 more, uh, series, but I'm staying strong for now. I'm not starting new stuff yet. Um, you know, that could change any week, but, uh, for now I, I kind of want to focus on um the regulars uh so uh yeah 
I'm very excited about that. I have so many ideas still for the cold climate one. Obviously the red deer now came out, so that fits perfectly for a cold one. Um, and yeah, I don't know, that's, that's, uh, that's up for me uh, in the future. But for now, like I said, I have so much more time and I'm so excited because today I got to see my dad. I've not seen my dad in so long. He just lives one town over. Um, but, uh, you know, at the zoo, I worked almost every weekend and my dad doesn't really get time off during the week. So, um, today I finally get to see him. Um, and yeah, I, I'm so excited to have more free time and I'm obviously so excited to, uh, to play the game more and uh, yes still I'm saying it again I'm putting it out there I'm putting it into the universe I will start the Instagram finally um, the thing is also because I play on fairly low graphic settings I had this issue where when I play with higher settings it runs perfectly smooth still I have no issues with the graphic when I play it but when I look back at the the footage, the recordings of it, it's super choppy. And I don't know if that is a thing that should be done through the settings of the recording program, which I tried. I tried to record in lower quality maybe, um, but the only thing that really changed it is to put down the graphic settings, but I don't, I, I think for the speed build, because it is you know, obviously sped up and you don't get to look at much details, um, it, it's perfectly fine still the graphics but for the screenshots I wanted to I want to do them in higher quality meaning that whenever I take good screenshots I feel the need to up the graphic settings and then have to remember to set them back to lower settings because uh, obviously I, I don't want to forget it and then record it so it's always a whole big deal trying to uh, trying to record um, the, uh, the uh, not record, take the screenshots. So yeah, that's the whole thing. Um, I did break down this thing over here. I don't know why uh, my idea was kind of like the, the tree branches would break into the wall. I don't know. Um, so yeah, this, uh, this upstairs area there, I kind of wanted to build like a bed, but I've figure like you know what if she does it in explore mode which she did it's not really going to show up right uh and so you know i felt like it would it would have just taken a lot of time to build a bed that wouldn't really be needed so i did plan more for the interior but didn't really it, it didn't really uh matter too much in the end um and yeah there uh we have a a little ladder so you I tried it you can kind of go up there with the explore mode but it's wonky <laughs> at best so yeah I think we're about to go into the basement actually so the basement like I said Savannah found pretty creepy and I think the people in chat did too um, but there's absolutely nothing creepy down there it's not creepier than your regular old basement is so there's like trash down there but nothing scary um and uh it's uh it's one of the locations that you have to find obviously uh and um yeah so just a heads up i had to cut out a lot of parts of the speed build uh in terms of the basement because obviously uh the house is already built above it so it's kind of clipping through walls a lot and terrain and the camera kind of flew out there a few times so i did um you know like uh Actually, I think I cut out all the placing of surrounding walls for the basement because, you know, it was just a mess and uh, it's it was already a mess in the non-sped up version, but speeding it up just doesn't help it if it's already messy. Um, and, and yeah, well, oh my god, this chair is absolutely not in scale. It looks so weird. It looks like someone has just learned how to, uh, how to um, use a 3D program <laughs> and that's the first thing they did so not a good chair but it, it does the job so um that that happened and then um we're building a shelf and i think i didn't record it but we will also put books in this shelf later which i i don't know i feel like this game needs to have decor pieces that are books i think 
books are actually more common in every place than you want to think. <laughs> it, that that was a very complicated sentence, but I feel like you know in in uh, souvenir shops you see books, and in uh, like a office you would see books, and uh, it, for the vet you would have a book there. <laughs> so I feel like books would be great, and also obviously for things like this, um, and the more like out of the box buildings. Um, books would be cool um I, I don't know i feel like uh i feel like there's just like a little list of things that i would still like to see in terms of decoration for this game um and i think the twilight pack actually kind of gives me hope that they know that some more crazy stuff is actually you know crazy stuff can still be have like replayable value i don't know <laughs> what you'd call it uh they're versatile and you can do different things with them. So I think um, that they don't have to be scared to put in kind of crazier stuff. And I don't really think that books would be crazy. Um, I do think that what we need in this kind of small things, I would love t-shirts because I don't think they're just usable for souvenir shops. You would also see t-shirts hang around in like a staff area um, and uh, well, maybe that's all, but <laughs> but I would love a t-shirt prop. I would love, um, I would love placeable trash. I know it sounds dumb, but for some reason, I found myself wishing for trash a lot uh, in this game. So that would be great. And, and like small things too. Like if you think about a water bottle, you could have water bottles stand around pretty much everywhere like you could put them in staff rooms you can um have them as like an enrichment like an implied enrichment for animals you could fill them up with something um i like these are like small things that i always think about would be so cool to have um and yeah what was the other thing oh mugs a lot of people are building coffee mugs um and it's like what it's it's like it's i don't know i think the cool part about it is that you don't need all these pieces you can build them all up out of these pieces that we already have which is cool but then at the other end of this it's fun to build a coffee mug once it's fun to build a cot once but then you're like uh well i'll just get it from the workshop or well, i'll just like clone the same thing but then you have a million pieces right so you know why not i think having these th things in the game as one piece would be really nice um but maybe that's just me maybe a lot of people actually appreciate uh doing these small things out of the pieces so yeah so i just took a break because i honestly had no idea what to talk about and then i remembered the one thing i actually wanted to talk about because i thought it was kind of funny and you know usually i get off track but i feel like i've gotten better with not getting distracted while doing these voiceovers um but anyway the thing i wanted to talk about was i for some reason listened to taylor swift building this and this is funny because i don't ever listen to taylor swift i don't listen to a lot of pop music in general and i don't really like taylor swift but not i don't dislike her so much that i would say oh that inspired me to do a horror build <laughs> i don't know why i thought you know what a nice lady singing about nice things is the is the way to go for this <laughs> but for some reason i i was listening to taylor swift doing this um which is funny because I, I can build like a, a cute little zoo enclosure and listen to like metal. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, I don't know. Uh, so I, I thought that was funny. And I, I, I remember when I took a break while building, I was like sitting on my PC and I was like, why am I listening to this? Why is this the soundtrack for a spooky horror game build? <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I thought that was funny and I mean, not really helpful to anyone to know this, but still funny and a little, little behind the scenes of my building process. I don't actually, honestly, I don't listen to music much while building. I usually either watch, I usually either watch like reality TV um, or uh, listen to podcasts. So um, music isn't really something I usually do um, 
for a long while I was also watching Pokemon while building um, and it's it's stuff like this where I, I don't feel like I have to look at it to get it um, and yeah I mean there's entire shows actually that I've never even looked at I just heard um, I remember like this is a long time ago but my mom used to watch some show on TV that uh, I could I, I knew everything about the show but I've never seen it I always heard it from the other room so I I could tell all the characters apart by their voices and I knew everything about them from just their voices which was yeah I don't know it's weird but um anyway this voiceover was a mess I'm really sorry if this was your first video there's times that I'm better at this there's times where I'm worse at this anyway um we're almost done with the speed build so um this is only like a minute left so I'll be rambling on don't 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 worry I won't leave you but I won't say anything of value anymore um but uh yeah okay see you in the real time part I'll leave you with a few seconds of music so yeah okay bye All right, listen to that rain. I hope that the sound works. I haven't tested it. I don't usually record the sound of the game, but I wanted the rain to be in it. You hear that? Oh my god, okay. So, here we are. It is the night time. We're on the middle of the road, and our car just crashed. Again, this is the last time I will say it. If you want someone to actually look for it and walk through this that doesn't know where the things are, you should head over to Simply Savannah and check her version out. Um, again, it will be linked down below. But if you want to see uh, the shorter version of me that knows where everything is, uh, you will do that now. So, the last good look at the rain. By the way, look at the sky of the new Europe map. It's so beautiful. I mean, maybe it was like this before and I've just never looked at it at night. <laughs> that could be it, but sure. Um, okay, so let's take a quick look onto this road. I did hide um, another warning sign here that doesn't really make sense, but I figured, you know, maybe back in the day there was like a, a walkway next to it or for pedestrians that for some reason walk here. Um, right, okay. So the first thing is, um, it said that the, um, hitting the brake throughout your phone. That is so beautiful. That looks really cool. Um, okay. So I hope this isn't too dark, but if we go here, this is where the phone got thrown. So this is the phone. Um, <laughs> it's made out of a, um, a spotlight kind of thing. Um, so this is supposed to be an old iPhone. Kind of wonky, but it does the trick. Uh, it's notable that this is the phone. So what that means is that now we can technically use the flashlight. And so then I use the flashlight, but I kind of want to continue to see the rain because I think it's so beautiful. Um, but I'll use the flashlight if we need it. I mean, I'll show you what it looks like. Um, and I think this very much has like horror movie, horror game vibes. Um, there's also like the marks of the car. Um, but yeah, let's turn it off to see more rain. This is obviously the headlight of the car, and so we walk through here. Um, and some, not dead trees, but it is a fall. So this is the first thing. Um, one of the, the challenges for this was to include a uh, sign for the animals. So I wanted one that was like broken and not really needed anymore and not being maintained. Uh, and it says hikers beware um, and it's also a big spoiler as to what animal will be up here so let's turn that off again because these mushrooms actually glow um, yeah so we're gonna walk through this forest here through the rain and then when you turn the corner Savannah got really scared here because these are the deer we look at them with the flashlight they are really really bright shine shining in the dark and they're so beautiful too um 
They can actually walk further down this path, which they don't really do. They all hang out here. Um, but yeah. Really nice. They have a little bit of a um, thingy here. And then this, obviously, is the spooky house. Um, and someone left the door open for us, wouldn't you know it? Um, so for this, I think we should be using the flashlight because we're going to go in anyway. There's no rain. Um, so let's peek through here. This is obviously the side of a house is broken. And this is the little study thing here. We can go upstairs. Um, there's not much here, just some broken stuff. Um, this, I don't know why I, I did this, but it reminded me of like moles. So <laughs> I did that. Um, so yeah, this is obviously the creepy basement. We will save that for last. Um, if we go out here, this is kind of a, a backyard that is kind of broken. Um, so this used to be a little bit of a garden. I originally planned on also saying you need something to eat, but I thought it wasn't really clear that you could eat the tomatoes up here, and it doesn't really make sense, so uh, I didn't include that. But um, some wood chopping, and a wheelbarrow, and an old swing set that is ever so more creepy because it's uneven. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's let's go down here into the basement and oh, is it the flashlight that makes it so? It is the flashlight. See, I did build this when it was um, I did build it without the flashlight. So this was supposed to be like a muddy green, um, and it is during the day. And I think it's more clear that this is water when you don't use the flashlight. But if you put the flashlight on, it's just pitch black. Um, so that is why it looked so spooky. Um, but yeah, this is obviously where you find the missing... Did I say that? You're supposed to find a tire here. So this is where you find the tire. There's no shovel here. There is, um, however, um, like a rake. And I thought that would maybe like be like, oh, I found it. And then you realize it's a rake. But uh, it, you can obviously see it through the dark. So... Let's go upstairs. We found our tire. Um, and then we can go outside. And I was so happy that Savannah actually took her time to go to the other side. Because I did hide a little, like, a uh, rabbit. I don't know what you would call it. Like an enclosure, a little cage for some rabbits or chickens. Um, so, yeah, I put it in. It was maybe because, remember when I said I was building the raccoon enclosure, I was looking at modern uh, chicken coops. Maybe that was in the back of my mind still, but um, yeah, I, I'm happy that you found it because um, this isn't really clear that you're supposed to go through here, but you did. That was cool. Um, and so obviously you can go out here and oh, another deer. Um, and this kind of thing here leads us to the tiny little graveyard um, right here. And this is obviously where you find the shovel to free your car of the gravel. Um, it's overgrown, obviously. No one really has tended to it. My idea was maybe that the person that lived there was like a, a keeper to the forest and um, wanted to stay with his beautiful animals here. So, look at these guys. They are gorgeous. Let's turn off the light. Stop blinding them. Really, really gorgeous. Um, oh, there's another one. Oh, the rain is so loud here. Is it weird that I would actually love to be here right now in real life? Like, I would love this. Like, imagine being at night. Uh, it's all, like, super quiet and you just hear rain and see deer. I, I don't know. For I, I, Obviously, this is supposed to be creepy, but something in me is like, I would love to actually experience this. Um... So, yeah, obviously, um, this is all that you need to find in this. These mushrooms, by the way, I didn't realize they are glowing, uh, before. I, uh, 
I don't know. I think it is actually a thing. I do think that there are, like, lu luminant, uh, I think it's called, mushrooms in real life. I, I totally didn't see it coming, so... Uh, it, might, it might be cool to use them as corals, actually, because uh, corals actually can have super neonish colors. So I might do that. Um, let's make our, do our, use our flashlight here, because we have the things in our car and keep driving and that's basically it so again um it's probably way more fun to do this with savannah who you know actually doesn't know what's going on um so yeah i hope you enjoyed this i hope to see you around for another video um if you want maybe more of these adventure kind of maps definitely let me know because it was so much fun to build um, so kind of a, a map to explore and um, do tasks in. I would love to do more of that. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think. And I hope to see you around. Bye!